Hey, Mr. Leon Kauma here, the best match tutor. So in this video, I want to teach you how to multiply matrices. Yeah, so this is algebra and it's very important for you to know this. Many of us are struggling with this part of the topic. But after these four examples I'm going to give you, you'll be clear, yeah? So come with me. Matrices, yeah? And then we're looking at multiplying matrices. So this is a formula. The formula is row times column, row times column. And then here's an important part. Usually one row multiplies more than one column. Usually one row multiplies more than one column. So let's look at the examples. We'll start with example one. So you have this matrix. Yeah, if it's one, it's a matrix. If there are two matrices. They have said multiply the following. You have this matrix and you have that matrix. So what you do is this. You have to find the order. The order. So this negative 4, 2, 4. This is known as your row. 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 And this is a column. This is a column. This is a column. So how many rows do you see? We have 1, 2, 3. So we have 3 rows times... We're finding the order here. How many columns? One, two, three. So three. And then here, same thing. One, two, three. So three by columns. One, two, three by three. So now, when I multiply these two matrices, the answer that I'm, go that I'm going to find is what? So this is a row. Remember, this is a column. It's a row. It's a column. I'll get this row. So three by, and I'll get this column. Three. So the matrix that will have that I will have will have three rows and three columns. Very important. Let's multiply now. Let's multiply. So this negative four. So let me just erase these lines so that it becomes uh, clear. But I've, I hope you have gotten what I was saying about the rows and the columns. Yeah. So this is one. So I've just erased the lines to make it clearer example. So, yeah, so this negative 4 is multiplying. I've said usually one row multiplies more than one column. So this row is multiplying this column. So negative 4 times 3 is negative 12. Have you seen this 2? So 2 times 4 is plus 8. Get it? Then you have this 4. 4 times 1 is plus 4. Row, column. You, you see that? Yeah, move on. This same row will multiply this column. Usually one row multiplies more than one column. So negative 4 times 2 is negative 8. 2 times 6 is 12. And have you, have you noticed that each number is multiplying its own number? You don't see this 2 multiply 2 because this 2 has been gotten by 4. Yeah? Then here we have 4 times 1, which is 4. You get it? The same row must multiply this column. I'm moving. So after I'm done with this column, I give space. I go to another column. Yeah. Then after I'm done with this column, I leave space. Negative 4 times 1, negative 4. 2 times 7 is 14. 4 times 3 is 12. Then multiply. You close. You see that? Very, 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 very neat. Yeah, very neat. We're moving on. Now we have this row. So this row is mot it's going, to con it's going to multiply this column, that column, and that column. So pay attention. This will be 6 times 3, which gives us 18. Then 1 times 4 is plus 4. 1 times 1 is 1. You get it? So 6 times 3 is that. 1 times 4 is that, 1 times 1 is that. The same row with this column. So 6 times 2 is 12. Plus 1 times 6 6. You get it? And they are going together. Then 1 times 1 is plus 1. You see? I move on. 6 times 1 6. Plus 1 times 7 7. 1 times 3 is plus 3. See what I've done? Yeah. Now I move on to this row. I'll multiply the same three columns. So 3 times 3, 9. 2 times 4, 8. 
4 times 1, 4. Again, the same row, this column. 3 times 2, 6. 2, where am I, where am I? Where in this here? So 3 times that, so 2 times 6 is 12. 4 times 1 is 4. Yeah, last column. 3 times 1 is 3. 2 times 7 14. 4 times 3 is 12. Once I have this, it's just a matter of me keying in my, my final answer. So we have negative 12. Negative 12 plus 8 plus 4. This will give us 0. Because negative 12 plus 8 is negative 4. Negative 4 plus 4, that's 0. Get the sign from the, the different signs you subtract. So 4 minus 4, 0. 0 as a positive. So negative 8 plus 4 plus, negative 8 plus 12 plus 4. This will give us 8. Negative 4 plus 14 plus 12, this will give us 22. I close. Not complicated, isn't it? 18 plus 4 plus 1, this will give us 23. And then 12 plus 6, that's 18 plus 1 of 19. You see I'm leaving space here. Yeah? I have 6, <coughs> excuse me, I have 6 plus 7, 13. 13 plus 3, 16. So 9 plus 8 plus 4 is 21. Yeah. Then we have 6 plus 12 plus 4 is 22. Then we have 3 plus 14 plus 12 is 29. You have multiplied this matrix. Yeah. Look at it. Let's move on to our second example. So right now we're looking at example 2. So what do we have here? Always start with your order. So we have two rows. 1, 2, Columns, one, two, yeah? What do we have here? Two rows, columns, one, two. You see that? So here, this is a row, it's a column, row, column. My answer, when I multiply these two matrices, it will be two rows, and this will be two columns. So let's start. Three times four is 12. Four times eight is 32. We continue the same row, this column. 3 times 5, 15. 4 times negative 1, <clears throat> what do we have? Negative 4. We close. Yeah, are you getting there? So now we get to this row, this column. So 5 times 4, we have 20. 6 times 8, we have 48. You get that? Yeah. I have 5 times 5. 25. 6 times negative 1, negative 6. So row by column. That's what it means. Row by column. Row by column. Row by column. Row by column. Very important. So 12 plus 32 is 44. 15 minus 4 is 11. Yeah. 20 plus 48 is 68. Yeah. 25 minus 6 is 19. We have multiplied that matrix. Simple, yeah? Let's go to this matrix now. To this matrix. So what we do is this now. Here we have to find the order. So here is a 2 by 2 by now. You know? This is 2 rows. 1 column. So this will be 2 rows. My answer. And this will be one column. So if I multiply these two matrices, my answer has to have two rows and one column. So let's let's do this. So four times three is twelve. Three times negative five is negative fifteen. I close. Done. We are not even we are not even confused or what. You know, row by column. This row is column. Two times three. 2 times 3 is 6. 1 times negative 5 is negative 5. So what do we have here? 12 minus 15 is negative 3. 6 minus 5 is 1. Yeah? Let's look at our last example. 
So we have this example, yeah? Our final example. I've given you different orders so that after this video you are clear. So we have this matrix and that matrix. We should multiply them. Before we even start multiplying, we need to find the order. How many rows are here? There's one row here. So one by columns. This is one, two, three. One by three. How about here? How many rows do we see? There's one, two, three. So three rows by columns. It's one. So if I multiply this, I'm trying to get the order of my answer. So this will be one row by one column. Interesting. So let's start. I know one row looks like this. So negative one times four, negative four. Two times two. As I said, each number with its own number. So two times two is plus four. Three times three is plus nine. Done. Final answer. Negative four plus four, zero. Zero plus nine is nine. Check this matrix. It has one row, one column. I'm done. Yeah? Yeah. So, thank you so much for watching the video. And thank you if you have subscribed to my online group. I look forward to helping you write your exams. Yeah? Hope you have enjoyed. Download the video. Get in touch. Yeah? Stay blessed. Bye-bye.